typically developing child is social by nature. An infant boy readily makes eye contact with his mother. At 12 months, he begins to use basic gestures, such as pointing and waving goodbye. By the age of two, he may speak as many as 50 words, and by age three, he begins to develop pretend play. For a child with autism, however, these social and communication skills are slow to develop. He may not play. The child may develop repetitive behaviors and experience anxiety in unfamiliar situations. Prior to the sequencing of the human genome, the underlying causes of autism were not well understood. The advent of new technologies for analyzing the human genome have enabled new insights into the genetic basis of this disorder. A new study led by Jonathan Sabot at the University of California, San Diego, has taken the genomic analysis of autism a step further by sequencing the complete genomes of children with autism and their parents. I'm Jonathan Sabot, Associate Professor of Psychiatry and Cellular and Molecular Medicine at UC San Diego. Our study has shown that regional rates of mutation in the human genome vary widely and can be explained by intrinsic characteristics of DNA sequence and chromatin structure. Importantly, genes associated with autism and other diseases have higher mutability than the average gene. Much of our previous research on autism has been focused on spontaneous mutation in the form of copy number variants, or CNVs. Some of the classic examples of autism-associated mutations are CNV hotspots. However, most genetic variation, and likely most of the mutations that contribute to the disorder, are nucleotide substitutions. We hypothesized that mutation hotspots may be a common feature of autism genes and may also include nucleotide substitution hotspots. We, along with colleagues at BGI, sequence the genome of autistic children and their parents. By comparing the children's genomes to those of their parents, we were able to pinpoint de novo mutations in the children. We examined the genomic neighborhood around the sites of these mutations to determine if there were any intrinsic characteristics of the genome that were associated with mutation. And indeed, this was the case. We found that the DNA sequence of the sites of mutations influenced mutation rates significantly, as well as the local chromatin structure as indicated by DNA's hypersensitivity and nucleosome occupancy. Recombination rate in the presence of simple repeats also influenced mutation rates significantly. We were able to build a model that could accurately predict the mutation rate of any position in the genome based on the combination of these features at that site. This model was able to explain 90% of the variation in mutation rate, and our findings indicate that the mutation rate of individual positions in the genome varies by over 100-fold. Averaging mutation rate within one kilobase windows resulted in a map that revealed the genome-wide landscape of mutability. When we looked at the global landscape of mutability in the genome, uh, the majority of genomic regions had a mutation rate close to the average of about 1 times 10 to the minus 8. And then we observed broad genomic regions that were warm or cold, where regional mutability was altered by one to three-fold. And then there were very narrow regions, or hotspots, where regional mutability was elevated by greater than tenfold. We determined germline mutation rates, genome-wide and in different regions of the genome. The total burden of mutations in one's offspring can be explained by the father's age. The effect is clear, but it's subtle. Older fathers don't cause autism. They simply have a higher risk of having a child with the disorder. One particularly striking phenomenon was the observation of mutation clusters, very dense clusters of mutations that occur all at once within a region typically less than 10 KB. These mutation clusters could potentially be explained by allelic gene conversion or by compound mutation. Logically, mutation hotspots in the genome ought to be evolutionary hotspots. Regions of the genome that mutate rapidly ought to have high rates of genetic diversity in the population, and they ought to change rapidly over evolutionary time. In most regions of the genome, this is exactly what we found. However, when we examined the mutation rates within exons, we observed that the opposite trend was evident. Some of the most highly conserved exons are in fact highly mutable. These mutation hotspots could be relevant to human disease. When we examined the mutability of specific genes, genes associated with autism were more mutable than the average gene. 
In particular, genes associated with dominant disorders were highly mutable. And to a lesser extent, mutability was elevated for genes associated with recessive diseases and with complex human traits. Mutation in the human genome is a random process, but the deck appears to be stacked and may even favor mutations that could influence human traits. The results of our study suggest that intrinsic characteristics of DNA act in combination with extrinsic factors, such as paternal age, to influence patterns of mutation in the genome and risk for autism and other diseases in the population.